a lot of talk about how the tax reform plan will affect high small businesses. A high-powered Hollywood heavy jumping on the small business train looking to disrupt the disruptors. Jamie Foxx taking on the Warby Parkers of the world. The Oscar winner realizing an ultra-affordable eyewear alternative was a surefire Tinseltown winner. Listen. I wore some glasses, put it on my Instagram, and people were like, oh my God, what are those, the Ferry McDonald's, the Gucci, the Versace's? They were actually glasses that I purchased from a gas station. And he thought, wait a minute, there's something here. And the man who said, yes, there is, is the man behind a company looking to disrupt what you think is an overpriced market. Meet David Schottenstein Good of Privé Revo Eyewear. Thank you. Well, you and Jamie are now working together on this? It's uh, Jamie Foxx, Haley Steinfeld, and Ashley Benson. Um, so we have a good group of partners all, you know, in different areas of Hollywood. And Haley's also a singer. And we got together and we started Prevera Vaux. Prevera Vaux is an eyeglass company that suddenly a lot of smart people are wearing. I mean, Richard Branson, who is arguably one of the coolest entrepreneurs. And you know, we've got a business viewing if audience not the who coolest. looks at this guy and says, he is so cool. He's wearing your glasses. Sunglasses, glasses, everything. The supermodels. Bella and Gigi Hadid, who are the models of the moment, are wearing it. Tell us the genesis of this company. So we got together after Jamie's experience, mm -hmm. and we realized that here you have a product that you lose, I lose. We all buy and we lose them, right? We spend hundreds of dollars on them. And when you look at it and you actually analyze the product, you can make a great product with great lenses, polarized lenses, top-notch materials, and you don't have to charge 100 200 300 bucks. It's crazy. If you lost your iPhone as often as you lo lose sunglasses, you would need serious therapy, oh, right? You're, you're talking to the person who, loses who has their lost more $100 plus eyeglasses and sunglasses. Right. It's so annoying. It's crazy. But the cheapo ones may look good. And what I've found, though, is that the screws on the sides and the arms come out yep. and you need that little thing. And I'm not ever going to do that. Exactly. So we said, let's see if we can make sunglasses and glasses mm -hmm. with every single feature, quality wise, lens wise, that the guys who are charging 100, 200, 300. And we did it. Didn't Warby Parker do this many years before you? Let me push back here. They were the original disruptors. Now you're trying to disrupt them? So I think we're trying to disrupt everyone, not just Warby. Warby is a great model. Um, I think their audience might be slightly different than ours, although we certainly have crossover. But what we're saying is, look, 30 bucks, no sacrifice. The packaging, the product, the branding, right? The people that are wearing our product are the tastemakers. They are the influencers. We're not paying them to wear it. J-Lo is wearing it, and the Hadids are wearing it. Richard, We're not paying them to wear it. They love it. Okay, I've got a pair in my hand. Mm -hmm. What is the cost of these? Twenty-nine ninety-five. And what is the name of this style? That is the MLK. The MLK. And the lenses in there have anti-blue light technology, okay. so even if you don't wear a prescription, you can wear them. Okay. And they'll protect your retina from burning out. What right. I liked right away is as I as I put these on, they, the arms were tight, they not loose. Small businesses, how are you looking at this tax plan? I don't know enough about it to comment, but the smart people around me who are in business all seem to be very supportive of it. You're incredible. You started creating businesses when you were 21. I did. Red tape was just cut today. The president says he wants to get rid of regulations. Were you hit hard with regulations in making an eyewear company? What did you have to follow? We had to obviously follow FDA regulations, and because we have polarized lenses, and now we're starting to do prescription mm -hmm. at cost, by the way, for the customer, um, we had to obviously follow FDA regulations, but uh, I didn't find it to be cumbersome at all. Those, Riveting, darling. Those are awesome. I think if I'm walking on the street... Those are, those are called the Bruce. Don't talk to me. I'm cable famous. I love them. I love them. <laughs> you look great. Thank you so much. The company is called Privé Revo. You've got a website. A million pairs sold in six months. And what's your profit, at least when you came in? First couple of months? We were profitable right away. Right. You made five million, though, in sales. Uh, over Pretty. five million in sales That's in the first six months. You and Jamie Foxx on the way. Great. Thank you so much. Thank Good you. luck to you. Thank David you so Schottenstein, much. Uh, our, our entrepreneur in training here in residence. He doesn't need any training.